What's up YouTube? It's your girl Lorenda. I am back with another video. Today we will be talking about how to get your business started. Um, you may want to get some paper and a pencil or pen or whatever. Pull out your phone so you can take some notes. I have my notebook that says follow your dreams. They know the way. So I'm going to follow my dreams and I'm going to share them with you. Um, of course, this required research, and I've learned some of the, some of this information from a group that I was in. But we're going to jump right into it. Before I get started, I want you all to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what else you all want to see. The first thing you need to do is get your LLC. A lot of people say get an escort. I say see how your business go for the first year. If you are hitting your goals and everything, as far as like money wise, S Corp is really good when it comes to taxes. But first, see how your first year go and then switch over to S Corp. Do your research though. Do what's best for you. The next thing is you need to get an EIN number. Um, which, once you get your EIN number, you know, that'll give you access to apply for different things like a business bank account. So you do need an EIN to get your business bank account. Most of this can be done on the Secretary of State, you know, website. Um, once you've completed all of that and you are for sure you want to go into business, I say search around for insurance. Get insurance quotes first before you go purchase a truck because the truck insurance is very expensive. But once you start making that money, then it won't matter. You will be able to pay for it. But do your research first when it comes to insurance because a lot of people be like, yeah, 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 I want to do it, but can't afford the insurance. So then they want to work under somebody else's authority, which is very understandable. Um, so once you get your authority, of course, you need to figure out if you want to buy or lease a truck. Remember, do what's best for you. So if you have the money or the credit to go buy a truck, go ahead and do it. If you feel like it's better for you to rent a truck, go ahead and do it. And it also depends on if you're going to be over the road, if you're just going to be doing Amazon. That all plays a big factor in um, your truck. Um, if you buy a truck, make sure you have somebody that can go with you to check the truck out to make sure there's no oil leaks, transmission problems, brakes, anything. Like just take somebody with you that know what they're talking about so you can make sure you're not wasting money or investing in something and it's going to be trash. Take somebody with you because maintenance can cost a lot, especially on these trucks. But keep up with your maintenance on your truck. The um, the pros of renting a truck is, you know, you can just take it back to Penske or wherever you rent from. And they'll take care of the oil change and, and everything that'll come with the truck. Owning the truck, you have to worry about all of that on your own. We already went over insurance. So once you get the truck... um. You already have your insurance quotes, but do not pay for your insurance until your authority becomes active. It takes 21 days for your authority to come active, not business days, just 21 days, period. So what you should do is wait until the 19th day of you, before your authority um, comes active to um, get your insurance. Some people uh, pay for the insurance and then just say, hey, make it active on this date. That'll be something that you can just knock out the way because that's what I'm doing. I am actually going to get my insurance and just have them active, make it uh, active when my uh, authority becomes active. So my truck just won't be sitting and I'm wasting money just, you know, letting the truck sit. And I'm not going to be able to pay for the insurance the next month if the truck just sitting. So wait. 21 days, 19 days, at least 19 days. I say 19. Um, so once you do get your insurance, then you can get your BLC3. Then you'll want to register your truck. You know, you need your plates and everything to roll. So you'll want to register your truck. After you register your truck, you'll need your UCR. You also want to make sure you're a DOT compliance, which is meeting all of the requirements for the transportation uh, mean you want to make sure you meet all of those requirements with the universe with the U.S. Department of Transportation. I'm sorry. So you want to make sure that you are make sure everything is in order. When you get your truck, 
you want to have a binder with all of these things in there. Your insurance, your DOT medical cards. Um, some people get that at the beginning of the process, but I'm going to wait until it's almost time for me to hit the road. That's like kind of the last thing I'm worried about. I'm, I'm worried about the major things, the insurance, the authority, getting it registered, the BOC3. So once you have all of these things together, then you'll want to get you like an ELD, which is an electronic logging device. You will need that. I believe if you have a 2000 year truck or younger, you won't have to worry about it. But if you're operating, you will need an ELD. And some insurance companies give you a 15% discount when you have an ELD. You just have to let them know that you have one so they can include that discount. You will also need pellet jacks. A, one, however many pellet jacks you need to operate. If you have more than one truck, you're going to need more than one pellet jack. Low bars and straps. Um, once you have all of that, then you're, you're ready to go apply. Some people do Amazon for the first 90 days, being that a lot of places don't take um, owner operators that are just starting in the business, so you will need 90 days of experience. So a lot of people do Amazon for those 90 days. And some people look up on dedicated routes, you know. Um, some people do have contracts, but you will want to apply everywhere you can uh one no it's a thousand other places it's a million places out here so if you get turned down just keep on trying don't give up just keep trying keep going that's what i'm doing i don't care if somebody tell me no somebody gonna say yes down the line um but my goal is to start off with amazon relay so i can build a relationship with them um possibly get a dedicated ride with them my goal is to have three trucks um let's see it's my truck could be rolling by at least May 15th, so June, July, August. August, I plan on adding another truck. So by December, I'm, my goal is to have three um, box trucks by the end of this year. I want to have three total so I can really contract. Because a lot of places want you to have three uh, box trucks to contract so, so they can keep you going. And a lot of places want you to have five box trucks. But again, move at your own pace. Um, what I'm going to be doing is just putting my money back into the business the first um, the first few months, I'm just putting the money back into the business. I'm not even going to pay myself because I do have a vision and I have a goal. So, um, that's my plan. So the step that I'm on right now is waiting on my authority to become active. Once my authority does become active, I will be moving forward to the next step, which is, you know, waiting on my insurance to become active. So I, I'm going to call them and tell them I want to give them a date that I want. So I can go move forward and do my BOC3. But get your paper out because I'm going to run back through it in order so you can know exactly what you need. First step, LLC. Then get you an EIN number. Then you need your uh, business account. I have Navy Federal and I have a, uh, another one that's in the city here. But I have, I do have Navy Federal. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good credit union. Um, use the benefits if you can. A lot of people... Say uh, you need to know somebody, you can just tell them that your grandparent was passed away, deceased, and they'll go ahead and give you one. You won't have to worry about the hassle of um, getting a sponsor for um, someone else. Just let them know that you knew somebody, or that you had a grandparent in the military who passed away and you want to open up an account, and they're going to do it. So after you do your business account authority, and then you're either going to buy or lease your truck, I bought mine. If you buy your truck, please, please, please check into the maintenance. Then you want to get your insurance. Then you're going to do your BLC3. Register your truck. UCR. And then make sure your truck is DOT compliant. And then you want to apply for everything. Make sure you have your pallet jack, your ELD, your straps. And sometimes a lot of people use low, bar, uh, low bars. And a lot of people also use pallet jack stoppers, so you won't have to flip your pallet jack on the side. Get the stoppers, so that way you don't have to worry about it. You can drop everything off and go. Um, but other than that, that's all you really need. You just have to be consistent in what you're doing. Again, do your research. Um, let me know what y'all want to see next. Also, when it comes to getting your insurance, 
If you are thinking about going with Amazon Relay, what you need to do is get the insurance requirements for the FMCSA. Start your policy off with those requirements. Once your policy is active, call back and then up it to the million dollar requirements that Amazon requires. Why? Because it's going to save you a lot of money when it comes to down payments. Save as much money as you can, trust me, because it takes money to make money. So I know how it is to just try to do everything. Do the FMCSA requirements first and then go back and change it to the Amazon Relay because you won't have to get them no more money. Um, but moving forward, uh, let me know what else you all want to see. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be sharing, sharing everything with you. I'm going to be sharing all the knowledge that I can with you all. Like I said, um, I did pay for a course. I'm just going to be dropping, just dropping knowledge. Anything that comes my way that I feel like is pertinent to help you all. I'm here. I'm here to help everybody. I love helping people. Um, ask me questions. I don't mind helping. If I don't know the answer, I will get the answer for you. Reach out to me. Um, I'll leave my email down below. I am not on social media at the moment, but in due time, just um, let me know. We are going to do great, men and women. Ladies, it's time for us to show out. <laughs> Y'all have a great day.